Hello, my name is Diane Champany. I'm a third degree Alexandrian high priestess and an initiate of the OTO. And I'm very pleased to have been asked to write the foreword to the new version, Weiser's classic series, Tarot Mirror of the Soul by Gerd Ziegler. It's just been produced um, this, this month and it was originally published in 1986 in Germany. It was one of my first books um, on the tarot in the mid 90s. And um, I've been studying the occult and practicing the occult for the past 30 years. So this has really given me a strong foundation um, in tarot and specifically the Thoth Tarot um, by Alistair Crowley. But the woman behind the art in the Thoth deck is Frida Lady Harris. Or we're going to call her Lady Harris throughout this video. She was born in August 1877 in London. And she first met Alistair Crowley in 1937 at a dinner and was introduced to him by Clifford Bax. By 1938, she was a part of his OTO and his AA, both magical orders of Alistair Crowley's. So she was creating this deck with him in tandem, uh, be, uh, being his student as well. Um, they did this uh, throughout the course of World War II. And uh, so a project that was only supposed to be a six month-ish long project turned into five years due to the fact that um, they were under siege in um, Britain at the time and everything was done via the post. Both of them were perfectionists and Curly, I'm assuming, was quite the taskmaster. So it took approximately five years. The deck never appeared in print as a deck during their lifetimes. Uh, in 1941, Lady Harris did have an exhibition of some of the cards in London. Crowley did not attend uh, at the time. Uh, she was married to a British um, Parliament member. Uh, so that wouldn't have been neat to have been uh, associating with Alistair Crowley. It would have um, destroyed her um, standing in what was then the middle class of British society and also her husband's career. So she uh, exhibited some of um, the cards herself in 1941, but again, it was never um, produced as a deck in their lifetimes. In 1969, it was. And here is a um, example of the first edition of the Crowley Thoth Tarot. There we go. Very nice. Very nice specimen. Alistair died in 1947. Um, in 1957, Lady Harris wrote a book of poetry called Bump Into Heaven. Bump Into Heaven. A beautiful example of that. Um, she was 60 years old when she started the project with Alistair to um, paint the cards. So she is not only an inspiration as a woman occultist, uh, a female occultist, but also, um, you know, someone who started a project like that at the age of 60. It was very, very inspiring indeed. I wanted to round this up in a way by um, giving you a sample, a seasonally apropos sample of her poetry. Summer Night at Winchelsea. The landscape seems a silken dream. The woven voices of the elements sound gently on the ears. The soft winds press the rustling grass, the leaves sway, whistling, hundreds of silvery notes, and make a chord of light 
gray, green, golden, and white. Once more, in silent night, the stars poised in blue space hang sparkling fixed by an eternal movement of flying constellations. Then steely dawn returns to strike the crystal air, driving transparent night to greet a shining day. Lady Harris died in 1962, and the originals of these cards is now residing in the at the Warburg Institute in London. And um, I suggest, if you have not already, picking up a copy of Tarot, Mirror of the Soul, part of Weiser's classic series, and I thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next video.